Good morning, everybody. Kevin from Stingray Biology here. What are we doing today? Today, we are at China Airlines picking up another shipment. We got a shipment coming in from Malaysia. It's high-end discus and some angelfish. This is actually a wholesale transship shipment that I'm helping Rodrigo with. Uh, I guess basically we're, we're partnering up on doing wholesale transship business now. And uh, most of the Asia stuff that uh, will come in from the West Coast will go through me. There's my broker right there. He's got all my paperwork. That was my broker. He just gave me my paperwork. Everything went pretty smoothly. Shipment is cleared. Um, I'm ready to pick up these boxes and we're just basically gonna transfer it over to another airlines. I'll open it up, take a look, make sure everything's okay. If it needs repacking, I'll repack. If it needs to be tanked, I'll tank them. But uh, basically, this is the service that we provide for the wholesale and transshipping business. So things are going pretty smoothly. Um, I come right over to the warehouse, the cargo is ready. Fish and Wildlife has already inspected it. Uh, I guess they've been pretty busy. That's the Fish and Wildlife tape. They opened quite a few boxes today, but we're all good. So I'm gonna load this up and we're gonna get going. All right, boys, time to get these boxes in the car. I opened up this first box and these fish are looking pretty good. Look at that beautiful discus. I don't know if you can see it. The color is really nice. Let's go grab another one. Let's see this one. Nice. Looking good. This bag's kind of thick. You can't see it. Let's see this one. Very nice. Overall, oh, this is a big boy. Come on, get up. Oh, he's tilted to the side. Let's see. There we go. Very nice, high quality discus. Let me move on to the next box. Wow, look at that guy. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me bring it up here. Give you guys a good look at it. This is a really beautiful fish. This is actually one of my favorite types of discus. It's a red cover, blue face red cover. Whoa, -ho, look at that. That is money. Nice, very nice. Okay. Another box here. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got more of those red covers. Very nice. Looks good. Let's see what else. Oh, I think this whole box is going to be these red covers. Beautiful. Look at that. Yep, same thing. I'm trying to find something different for you guys to see, but wow, look at that. Look at how blue that face is. Oh my goodness. Nuts. All right, well, I'll open another box and see what I can show you guys. Okay, looks like uh, we got some nice angelfish here. Let's check it out. Albino angelfish. Pretty cool. Good size, nice and healthy. There's two bags of those in here. Let's see this other one. Yep, same thing. All right. All right, guys. We got some more angels here. These look like little Bulgarian greens. Um, they did really well for us last time, so we brought in more. Again, very nice. I love that green color on the body with the black fins. Pretty cool. 
yeah so most of these fish like i said are sold away are sold already they're pre-ordered transship fish and if you guys out there are interested just you know contact myself or rodrigo and we'll be more than happy to help you all right but in this in this particular case this shipment was mostly high-end discus or pretty much 99 percent high-end discus and then the angels we brought in for ourselves at, uh, to sell at the shop all right guys this is one of the last boxes I'm going to open to see if I can find you a different discus to check it out, all right? And I think I found it. I looked at the packing list, and uh, what do we got here? We got some leopards. Look at that. Really nice. Really nice color. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's check out another one. Oh yeah, look at those spots. Those red spots are amazing. Awesome fish, really, really awesome fish. This guy doesn't want to turn for you guys. There we go. Look at that. All right. All right guys, there goes the shipment. I'm checking it into Southwest right now. You can see it, it's all lined up right there. So it's a pretty quick process. We bring the fish in, check it, make sure it's okay, everything's good. We get it right out and try to get the fish to you as soon as possible. If there is any problems, then those fish we bring back to the facility, tank it, hold it, condition it well, and then at that, we ship it out at a later date. But for this shipment, you know, we work with really good uh, suppliers that uh, quarantine the fish and prepare the fish properly for shipping. So we try to avoid you know, those kind of downfalls and uh, make sure we do everything that we can to get the fish to you in the, the best condition possible. And it makes for the process very streamlined, in, out, in, out, straight to your tanks. All right, thank you guys for watching. I have an update for you guys. Uh, if you guys remember the, the ray that was in this tank that got beat up pretty severely, this is going to be the last update that I make on him because he is 100% healed now. Check it out. All the edge of the disc is all completely healed. Remember, the clasper was all red and opened up. That's completely healed over. He is eating very aggressively now. Very aggressively. So, he's all healed up. And like I said, I didn't use any medication. The key is just good water quality. And besides, in a tank that big, the amount of medicine I had to, I would have to put in, would be ridiculous, and the cost of it is super high. If in a situation where you have something similar happen, and you do want to medicate, and you have a big tank, it is highly suggested that you move that ray into a smaller tank to medicate, because you can control that environment better, and it would obviously cost you a lot less money and medication to treat it. But in my case, I didn't, and it just healed up on its own. So. That's great news. For the next update, we have the pups that were born here, the double clutch P14s and the P14 hybrids. I wanted to show you guys as well. They are doing really, really well. It's still fairly loaded, but their patterns are developing very nicely. I am very, very happy with, uh, with this batch. They're eating very well. They're probably gonna be ready for sale soon. And then if you guys remember, these guys I had moved them up that's the bad girl right there she's looking good and some of the other ones some of the other ones right there I guess they're getting spooked by the flash I like that one a lot too and uh, let's see what other updates do I have for you guys okay let me walk around to the other side. For the next update, I did have some requests in the comments uh, from previous videos for, for updates on some of the pups that, that are in my place. And uh, I'll show you guys. We got some Bozmani pups right there. Got some uh, black diamonds over here. Some more black diamonds right here. Okay. That one's getting a little feisty and uh, making ripples in the water. These guys are looking pretty good. Let's see, I got more Bozmanis right there. 
I think I've showed you these guys in one of the previous videos, but I'll just show it again. Um, another couple of Bosmanis, older. You see, when they're younger, these are their juvenile patterns. Bosmanis change a lot as they grow, but they just get nicer and nicer. Look at that beautiful pattern. And I got a full basket of um, medium sized black diamonds. These guys are probably anywhere from seven to 10 inches. Looking pretty good. So that's basically the update for the pups. Um, the system here, it's coming along pretty nicely. Um, working on the, on the plumbing. I'm working on that video right now as I'm doing the plumbing I'm recording for you guys. Hope you learn something each time watching my videos. Thank you guys for watching.